okay so let's see how we can achieve it with the help of regular expression extractor okay for that yeah so okay i opened it again let me run this again and yeah this is our output response data so currently we are not handling the session id in dynamic way so we got error okay now let's see where actually this session id is present in the response so let's come from the step one response data the session id has been created but no information in this page okay so let's go back to second request type it here session and give enter yep you can see that this is an user session and value is this one okay this is our session id got it okay now it's basically in hidden mode now go back to this and look at here set login forms action to error page so basically we are making sure that even hidden field flag has been set so if you don't set that there is no session id concept in the application okay it's just username and password and login so i cannot explain you the importance of correlation the dynamic values basically forget about session id whatever it is if you feel that there is something dynamic that every time when you navigate to those pages those you can handle with correlation that means going to the previous request response and grabbing the value there and putting into the our current request this is basically correlating now if i uncheck that here basically it's a hidden field the user session if i uncheck there will be no hidden field concept and you will be logged in with only user id and password so if i check it then hidden field is set and session id is also a mandatory to login so that's the reason i am asking you to check in now i can explain you uh, the concept of correlation so hope you understood now why i try to do that okay so this is a value which we need to pass into our next request here user session equals to previous request response data uh, it's here okay we will start with our regular expression in this lecture uh, okay let me write it here so this is unique till here okay and now here in this bracket dynamic part is present and now we don't know it may be more than one or only one letter okay we are not sure anything so dot plus question mark remember these three will actually means that there might be any number of maybe alpha numeric or whatever it may be there might be zero or more than one i mean sorry there may be one or more than one okay so dot plus question mark indicates that there is there might be a one or more than one digits or alphabets or whatever characters in this bracket okay you have to write it in brackets then only a regular expression extractor will understand that the well uh, the stuff present in the brackets is basically a dynamic value and i need it grab it okay so yeah thereafter uh, this is again common Yeah, that's it. So, till here value equals to it's not a regular expression and slash. So only this value we are interested. That's the reason I am writing in a brackets and I would need any value in that brackets. Okay. So this is our regular expression. Okay, let's test this. Is it valid or not? Copy it and select reg x tester and give it and say test test it okay so there is match count one and that is zero a that's what we are interested in right so regular expression is working right cool then 
and now observe it for what our request we need this we need it here you have reached this page incorrectly that is 10 slash login dot pl okay let me go back and write a preprocessor here add preprocessor regular x user parameters not this sorry uh, that will be the post processor i guess sorry not okay so we are getting it for this one right ninth let's check it again uh, user session where do we see that at what request yeah it is here it's a ninth so ninth one right click we need to add post processor add post processor in the sense after completing execution after getting response then process the response regular expression extract okay now so reference name is session id regular expression is this is the one what we are looking for template if there are more than single bracket in your regular expression so both are dynamic but what value you need to pull out you need to pull out if, if you need to pull out the only the first bracket then dollar one if there are more than one bracket and if you want to get the value from the second bracket then dollar two okay so in our case there is only one bracket and we are interested in template one so match zero for random let match for first item only okay if there are more than one item found so what value it should return return for first item only because there is only one item in that default value leave it blank not required and fill to check body right we need to check response body only so check it as usual let's give the name of reference name as session id that means the id what which got generated in that request will be put into this session id okay okay just before or uh, putting it in our actual uh, next request let's put in debug sampler and see uh, is that value is passing correct or not okay let's add from this level add sampler debug sampler okay so let's run the script let me delete all of them and run so right now i didn't handle that i just extracted it okay i didn't put it in the, my next request i'm just going to my debug sampler and validating that i'm getting proper value or not yep it's zero double a cool so that's it we can go ahead and try it now but before that one more checkpoint so how to put that value which got extracted in this step that means session id variable how you will place it into here how you will do that how you will bring out that variable into here what syntax you need to write to make it work okay for this i watch out my data driven testing how we have achieved this with the help of dot uh, config file bringing out the values from excel into this you need to use same syntax to handle that you remember right that concept if you put it in a variable how you declare that here if you are driving the data from excel so what syntax you will use to write down the variable name so same concept we need to use it here so for that i request you to try can you able to pull it out here by using the syntax okay if not watch again that data driven configuration module to understand and try it out if you are not able to then watch my next lecture which i have shown you that okay thank you